the No Fade channel, checking in on this episode of Dad's Home Gym. I'm going to be building out, we're going to build out together a complete functional home gym on a budget. That's right, for under $500, we're going to make a complete functional home gym that's going to help you look good naked and the reason i'm doing that is that so many influencers so many people on social media they've got these ten thousand dollar home gyms and they don't even understand the concept of budget anymore i've seen people make budget home gym builds for two thousand dollars for two thousand dollars that's a complete build that is a great chunk of change and frankly $500 is a lot of money, but we're hopefully going to keep it under $500 for a complete functional home gym. Another reason I wanted to make today's video is that, frankly, so many people that are on a budget end up going down the wrong path. They either get in equipment that they're not going to really use or they get in equipment that's so cheap they're not happy with it. In both, in both cases, they have to sell that equipment at an extreme loss only to bring in what they're actually going to use. And today's build is going to be all about functional equipment, stuff that you're going to put to use and not having to sell it down the road. Buying a home gym, even on a budget, and then being able to build on the pieces that you already have so you're not losing money in the long run. I want to know from you, comment below, what is your must-have in a budget home gym? What is your I can't live without? in a budget home gym, drop it in the comments below. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard, give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I typically review pieces of home gym equipment to help you decide if it's right for your home gym, if it will exceed your expectations, and if it's worth your hard earned money. Here we go. Now, the name of the game is to get as much functionality as possible, as much variety and versatility in our home gym for $500 without going over. Now, many professionals would have already done the calculations. Me, not so much. So here we go. Here is our calculation sheet, and let's dive right in. Number one off the top is cardio. It's not going to be easy to get cardio in a home gym unless you plan to do burpees and run on the road. But on top of burpees and circuits and running on the road, for $500, you're not getting any type of cardio equipment except for a jump rope. Now, this Wad Nation is a jump rope that I have. Awesome jump rope. It actually comes with two different... Um, two different length, uh, excuse me, weighted cords, allowing you to do a heavier one or a lighted one, depending on if you're good at double unders or not. Um, has like a lifetime warranty. It has a ridiculously good warranty. And again, here we go, $20. Next up is going to be a weighted vest. Now, weighted vests like Attack Tech um, on Rogue are gonna be 200 bucks. We don't got time to spend that kind of money. This is a weighted vest. I was able to make one for, for $55, okay? Um, and I have a whole video on it. You buy this Airsoft plate carrier that will hold plates, okay? So we're going to buy this. Boom, add it to the cart, 36 bucks. Then we need to add two 10-pound weights, and you can actually get those for $11 a piece, if not less, um, at Walmart. All right. Walmart.com. A lot of people can find, you can find those on Facebook marketplace. And a lot of this stuff you might be able to find for better if you shop a sale or you're shopping Facebook marketplace, but I can't make this video based on that. So boom, for 26 bucks, we have a 20 pound weighted vest and we are off to the races. Weighted vests are so functional and so versatile because you can just basically do so many more body weighted exercises that add a different level, a different oomph of intensity. Next up on the list is a pull-up bar. And pull-up bars are really great because not only because of pull-ups, but for what we're going to add later on, you can make them a lot more versatile. Now, I will tell you straight forward, on Facebook Marketplace, you can probably get um, either a pull-up bar or you could get like a pull-up station where you can do dips and pull-ups at the same time for pretty cheap for like 50 bucks. But again, I can't go off of Facebook Marketplace. I got to go off of what you can buy today in this video. So here we go. This is a king stud pull-up bar. You have to put it put it above a door frame. I have this same exact one. 
it's good. The only problem with it is one that I'm, we're going to add it to the list. And this is one that you it comes with four bolts and it needs more support. It only comes with four bolts, but for if you buy four extra bolts and you just put those in on top of the ones that, that it comes with, you're going to be fine. I've had 350 pounds on mine. No issues whatsoever. It is a three piece cheapo um, pull up bar, but it's a lot better than some of the ones that just ruin your door frame. And this is one that you could take with you. If you moved, you just pull it out of the wall and you are good to go. $45 pull up bar. Now, I know many of you want to know, where's the barbell? Where are the dumbbells? Where are all of the Olympic plates? You don't got time or money for that. For $500, you got to remember, beggars can't be choosers. And you need to understand that if you try to go the barbell bodybuilding route with only $500, you're going to be hugely disappointed. And most of the equipment that you get, you're going to be mad at. You're going to sell at a loss. We're going to skip all that, okay? When you've got good money, then you can go the bodybuilding route, but we're building the foundation on looking good. You don't necessarily need dumbbells and barbells to look absolutely fantastic and get in crazy shape. And that leads us to the sandbag, probably one of the most versatile pieces of equipment out there. Um, I'm a big fan of Rep Fitness sandbags. I think they've got really good versatility for the price, but you can do everything with the sandbag and just make it that much harder. Now, a lot of people will get a super heavy sandbag and just be upset with it because it's not functional. We need to find, well, normally I would recommend a medium sandbag. The reason I'm going large is because I want you to have that extra weight because we need that versatility in our home gym. So here's what we're gonna do. Boom, sandbag, $64. Now, you need sand. You're going to need at least 100 pounds of sand up here in Home Depot land in the Northeast. That's 10 extra dollars, five pounds a piece. Um, now, what we're going to do with that sandbag is when you go light, right, because this has internal bags with it, right? When you go light, you're going to need to take out some of those bags, but you're going to have to fill up that space. You're going to need pool noodles. Pool noodles are great for sandbags when you're going to go take like a 100 pound sandbag turn it into like a 50 pound sandbag. You need to fill up that space. Pool noodles. Two extra dollars at the dollar store. Keep in mind, it's gonna be like 250 soon because the dollar store is gonna be like the dollar 25 store in no time. Now we got the pull up bar, but we need to add some versatility to that pull up bar. Number one way to do that is gymnastics rings. These are $23. There's a whole bunch out there online. These were just like the cheapest that I could find that had a fairly good rating, even though it's at a rating of 11. Thankfully, it's shipped and sold by Amazon, so they actually do ensure everything that they sell. Um, it actually comes with grip tape, believe it or not, so that's good. Um, and it's going to get the job done, okay? You're going to attach these to your pull-up bar, and then you're going to turn that pull-up bar into a dip station as well. You could also do gymnastics push-ups. You could even do anything you want with a TR, like a TRX style workout, um, because these will function almost identically to a TRX um, handles uh, that are pretty famous with regards to the naming and branding of TRX, but these are just $23 gymnastics rings. Here we go. Rings. Help if I would spell rings correctly. Where are we at in our total? Dun, dun, dun. Total, $220. Whew. Okay, let's stick with the, let's stick with the pull-up um, bar. Let's keep adding versatility to that. Boom, we need bands, because I know some of you can do like 15 to 20 pull-ups at once. And in that case, you throw on the weighted vest. But for many of us, like me, unfortunately, I need all the assistance I can get. So we're going to do pull-up bands. And these come in, oh, we're going to save 10%. Whoop, not going to put my information in there. Nice try. But 10%, that's going to bring these down to $18. Now, here's what I'll tell you. Most of you are only going to need three of these. You're going to need the, the purple, the black, and the red. The green is going to be way more uh, help than you're going to need, but it comes with as part of the package. And what's great about this is that it also comes with a door jam, and I think it comes with handles. Yeah, it comes with these handles. So you can actually include um, some other fun exercises that are great for like supersetting and to get that resistance, even though they're bands. And I know we hate bands from 2020, but boom, $18. We've got weight assisted pull up bands.
Now, since they gave us those bands and we've got a door jam uh, accessory to use with those bands, we're going to add a little bit of versatility to get some more fun out of those bands, right? Let's see. What do we got left here? Boom, boom, boom. This is, these are um, handles. These are ergonomic grip handles. Some of you will know them as Angles 90. These are just Angle 90 knockoffs. So apologize to Angles 90 for not buying their handles, which cost like 70 bucks. We're going to buy them. Well, shoot, not going to put my information there. We're going to buy them for $19 because we are going to clip that coupon. But these you can attach to your bands that you got and you can either use them as just do face pulls with them. You could do rows. And again, it's not like bodybuilding, but it will get you a nice, beautiful burnout at the end of your training. Um, and for $18, you're going to have them so that when you upgrade your home gym, you'll still have these. So years down the road, when you're rich and famous and you've got a functional trainer in your home gym, you'll still have these and they'll still be good. Here we go. Where are we? Oh, I think we're getting pretty close to the edge here. $256. Okay, okay, I see where we're at. Slam balls. Now, a slam ball is exactly what it sounds like. You pick it up and you slam it. You can also use this as um, a medicine ball, same exact purchase, and you can use it as a wall ball. And you could just use it as an extra weight when you're working out. 25 pounds is more than enough. Um, if the 25 pounds was more than the 20 pounds, I'd buy the 20 pounds. But I'm frugal. We're going with the 25 pounds because I believe in you. These things last a lifetime. I've got these generic Titan Fitness ones. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I slam them into the ground and they last forever. So here we go. 25 pounds slam ball, $35. Sticking with Titan Fitness, we are going to make the biggest purchase for our home gym, and that is with an adjustable kettlebell. For my longtime subscribers, you know I love kettlebells, high versatility, so many different exercises you can do besides just a kettlebell swing. Um, they are extremely versatile. This will take up not a lot of space, but it adds a whole bunch of kettlebells for just one purchase price, even though it's big. And I'm going to up the game. We're going to get two of them two kettlebells boom why because you can do lunges you can do front squats you can do farmers carries you could even curl these if you wanted to you could do deadlifts you can do uh suitcase carries you could do front squats you can do rear squats you could do step ups if you have a chair Listen, what's great about these is that once you own them, you own them forever. They're super versatile. You can go on YouTube and find a thousand different kettlebell exercises. Now, I know most of you big dudes out there are saying 40 pounds. That's not enough for me. I'm strong. Well, if you've got two of them, now you're at 80 pounds. But a 40-pound kettlebell is extremely heavy. People don't realize the idea behind the kettlebell is how awkward it is and the fitness level involved with moving even a 30-pound kettlebell is exceptional so having 240s is going to be massive but it's gonna hit the pocketbook 85 times 2 170 dinero we could have to save like 15 or 20 dollars tried to get two different pairs of kettlebells but i looked at the price points and it just wasn't going to cut it we're at 461 dollars we're under 500 but we've got a couple more things to go we want to get versatility. We don't want to get bored in our home gym. Ab mat. I'm a big fan of the ab mat. People think it's hokey. It removes your hips from a lot of the ab exercises. So instead of working your hip flexors, you're actually going to work your abs. Go figure. Um, $20. Not all ab mats are good. There's a bunch of junk ones out there. You could get cheaper ones, but they're just like literally like the foam you get in your like Amazon boxes, right? It's just, it's, it's going to get crushed. It's not going to be good. For $20, Rep Fitness, they stand behind their products. We'll go with Ab Mat for $20. What do we got left? Show me the money. Oh, we're on the bubble. We're on the cusp. $481, and we've got tons of versatility. Coming down to the wire, we are going to go with a yoga mat. Obviously, yoga mat's really good for stretching lower back, core, abs. Obviously, this one's only going to be $5, and you can't beat that price. I'm sure this is a crappy version of a yoga mat, and I'm sure if you look closely, like all of these, that this photo's fake. If you look closely at this photo, that's a fake photo, okay? So this was actually like put in here. 
Um, so anyway, so it's clearly not going to be a great yoga mat, but it's going to be a yoga mat. And for the price of $5, you can't beat it. Where are we? Where are we? I want to spend up to that five. Oh, we got $14 to spend. What can we get for $14? My initial thought was to get these grip strengtheners. This is a six pack. I wasn't able to find like a three pack. I actually love these. I've got a set of the ultra heavy ones on a three pack version. Um, and they're great for grip strength, which is really important, not only for quality of life, but for lifting weights and just overall functional fitness. We can't spend over $500. We're on the cusp. It's too much. Normally, I like to spend up to that $500 mark, but hey, put that money in your pocket, and that's going to be the beginning of your next purchase. And here's, here's where we are. We are underneath $500, okay? We got an absolutely a bunch of equipment that's going to allow us to do tons of functional training. You can go to YouTube and find, you know, jump rope, get tons of workouts, pull-up bar, weighted vest workouts. You could be doing Murph. Okay, you could do more of three times a week and you are going to go from like a six to a nine in a month. I'm telling you, man, all these exercises are, are geared towards burning calories, looking good and just straining the muscle. Now, I know many of you want to do your bodybuilding workouts. You love your barbell work. I don't blame you. But the point is, you got $14. Now is the point to start saving maybe for a set of interchangeable dumbbells, maybe for that barbell and plates or maybe for um, a, a, an adjustable bench and uh, adjustable dumbbells. That would probably be the next go-to on a budget. Or you save until you have enough money to buy what you really want ultimately, whether that's like a power rack or just a whole functional trainer, which is a quite a bit of change. But what's great about this whole setup is you got, you've, got, you've got hundreds of different potential workouts you could do um, and you're not going to get bored easily. And by the time you start getting bored down the road, you're going to be looking good and you're going to have enough money in your pocket to buy the next item, the next piece of equipment that you want to, to build upon this home gym. Um, I think so many people make that mistake. They make the mistake of trying to go cheap and getting like the cheapest barbell with just a few plates and an adjustable, like a, a squat rack to bench in. And the next thing you know, man, they're sick of it. The, the barbell's bent. They don't have enough weight even. And it's just, it's a mess. It is an absolute mess. They're on like a bench that can't even support them. That's wobbly. It's no good. They're not getting great workouts in. And they end up losing a fortune and either going back to a local gym or just dealing with regret. You do something like this and you are going to be looking good, feeling good. And you're going to be poised to buy the home gym that you ultimately want if you want to go that bodybuilding or even that squat bench deadlift lifestyle down the road once you've got a proper amount of money to do it right. What you don't want to do is have to backtrack because that's going to just cost you money, time, and frustration. So how did I do? Is this going to be a home gym that you'd like to work out in, assuming that your total budget is only $500? Comment below where I went right and where I went wrong. Now, if you made it to the end of today's video, then you and I are absolutely best friends. Give the video a like, hit that red subscribe button, and if you're feeling cheeky about it, ring the notification bell too. As usual, thank you so much for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back.